What's up guys, Mr. Dan here. Harry and I had our uh, Hot Wheels Club a couple days ago. We finally got to go. It was, it's been months since, since we've been able to go. I was excited. I was hoping to pick up some scary cars for Halloween. Uh, I got some, as you can see. They didn't have too many like scary cars or Halloween cars. I didn't see any like of the uh, older Halloween uh, card art cars, which is probably might be a good thing. I didn't actually spend too much money. And I got, uh, I won a raffle, which was pretty, well, actually a lot of people won the raffle. It was a free raffle, so that's always a good thing. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at what I picked up and then I'll show you what we raced. Um, as usual, we did not win, but it was, it was, it was a good time. Got this limousine from the Biff Bam Boom series. It's pretty cool. I always like that. Arachnorod, first edition. Got a bunch of those. Probably got over half of those. Picked up this. I'm really excited about, and I'll show you why in a minute. Steel Passion from the Crazed Clowns. Look how scary he is. And that is that card is like pristine too. Now Lakesters. Here I went. To go uh, register this one for the race because the, the category was fantasy cars, as you can see. Uh, it's a good category for this time of year. And I brought this one up and they said uh, it was banned. <laughs> I guess it won last month, so I missed that. So that was banned. And then I found a couple more. The Cartoon Friends series with uh, Boris from Boris and Natasha. I've got another one of those. Boris and Natasha cars, you know, Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's cool. And then uh, the Moon Eyes Lakester. I didn't even know there was a Moon Eyes Lakester, so I had to have that one. And then I, I did check the bases. I was hoping to get a China base so I could do the uh, the Mr. Mom race where you race the, the China versus the Malaysia base, but they're all, they're all Malaysia, as is my other one that I raced a couple months ago. And then, uh, oh, here's the raffle car. This is pretty cool. 1999 Treasure Hunt Jaguar D-Type. Definitely pretty cool. It's like perfect. The card is like perfect. And then uh, the reason I'm excited about this crazed clown, I almost raced this a couple times, but I was kind of warned that it might be a little too wide and it's just about ready to bust out anyway. I think that, I thought it was a color variation. I think it's the same one. This is just so yellow. So it's about to bust out anyway, so now it's coming out. Look at that guy. Look how ugly. Yeah, I could see. I actually have... I actually know our track is a little... You know, our track is at the club is like... It's a high wall track uh, inside um, like a wooden groove. So yeah, that might be might have been pretty tight. Okay, anyway, let's uh, review what Harry and I raced. We had a screaming hauler. I thought it might do well because it was heavy. It's one of the uh, Wastelanders. I think that's what they were called. A Interacnorod, of course, and a uh, Speed Spider. Uh, these were the last two left that Harry and I had before we got eliminated. A nice heavy swing fire, but problem with this one is way too narrow. When am I going to learn? Narrow cars don't do well. Uh, I forget what this guy is. And one of the things I like to do, I, I'm an opener. I like to open cars and look at them anyway. So I kind of wait until it's time to race and then I open them. So in between races, Harry and I kind of like look at the tampos. This one's pretty cool. It's got like, it says Dino Hunt on it. And I forget what this guy's called. Anyway, and then we got Attitude. This was a, uh, this says Freaks of Horror. I forget what the, the series was called, but I thought that was pretty appropriate for this time of year. I think that's like Frankenstein's monster. Uh, Piranha Terror. This is called, uh, I've got a couple more in this series. It's called, uh, Asphalt, uh, I forget what it's called. Asphalt Assault or something like that. Anyway, a Diora. This one wobbled all the way down, but I, you know, it was just for fun, really. Amazon Surf Company. The Diesel Boy. Kind of a skull looking thing on the back. A skull Crusher. A Skull Rider. A lot of guys had this one. A 
pedal de metal. Not really sure why I raised that one. I just thought it would look cool. Twin mill. And that, this is cool. I couldn't even see through the bubble that this said, uh, these were a couple of dragons and it actually says dragon on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Buzz Lightyear I had to race. Uh, somebody gave me this a couple weeks ago when we were down at the river house. So uh, I said, you know what? It's fantasy race, so this, this counts. So race that and a, a two up. Did that one, nice chrome two up. So those are the cars we raced. And once again, we came up short, but it was fun. It was a good time. And I think I can even go to next month. So I'm real excited about that. Anyway, here's the track I've been working on. Really been hoping to get in some races. Uh, but it's been raining and it's been like raining for two days and then drizzling the next day. And then by the time it dries out, it's got like two more days of rain. So I was gonna have like three different kinds of track. This is the, uh, the one in between the best de decorations ever best halloween decorations ever the double horns i love it because i have a uh, candlestick double horns inside too so this is the monster 500 uh finish line with the, the skull there i was gonna definitely set up a monster 500 track yes that's like a pendulum that swings i actually watched an old race cruise video <laughs> just to kind of refresh my memory and he said you know stick it up there if you don't want it to incorporate that element of it I'm having a hard enough time, as you can see. Here's the starting, well, as you will see. Here's the uh, start gate. It's kind of strange. I had to add a piece of pipe here. I like using PVC pipe. It's like Tinker Toys for adults. But you can do a lot with it. I had to add a piece of pipe here to make this top part flat. Because you actually press down on this. And the problem I'm having is a lot of these guys will tip over. So I'm kind of... I've got a lot of high wall track, but it's all different shapes and sizes. So I'm trying to come up with a solution so they don't tip over and we actually they actually make the finish line anyway let's see who takes it we got werewolf blitzer versus leadfoot awesome so that was werewolf blitzer looks like leadfoot barely made it anyway so i won't have time for a uh pick them race uh, you know I was gonna have a video with a bunch of cars and let you guys pick so I'll just probably throw up a couple races as soon as I can and uh, I'll talk to you oh yeah there's the uh, blue track too I made a custom start gate for the blue track <laughs> and it got a little wet and it's I taped it down and it kind of all warped so Anyway, I might incorporate the blue track as well. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.